So it's kind of a wrap up to the tools. We're going to take a look at some of that ones that you'll be using often, but don't really draw anything. For example, if I draw an object and I really want to see that object a little bit closer, you have the zoom tool. You can either click on it or you can drag over it and it'll zoom in. To zoom out, you can either hit the reduce button and click several times, or you can double click on the zoom tool and it'll set it back to its normal page size. So again, if you click and drag, you can zoom in. You could either set it for reduce and click or simply double click on the zoom tool and it'll take it back out to its original size. A few other things we should look at is this is called the default color. If I click on this, it'll set my colors back to black and white. This is the reverse. Right now I have a black stroke and a white fill. If I hit swap colors, I now have a white stroke and a black fill. And so I can go back and forth between these two. Uh, hopefully you get kind of a basic understanding of all the different tools from selections to paint buckets to the eraser. Um, all these you'll just get more and more used to using. The one thing we haven't touched on was the text tool, which we'll use in the future. Um, but we can just type in whatever we want and then we can adjust the size of the text box pretty much like the free transform tool and then I can move them around and so that's basically the toolbars in the next couple of videos we'll be talking more about the timeline and we'll be talking about layers so I'll see you in a little bit